More Seeds of Hope, Stories for Lent. Today's story seed is Green as Ireland. From the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 7. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is the Lord. Listen to today's story seed. It's said that on St. Patrick's Day, everyone is Irish, and many support the tradition by wearing green. Americans don green hats, green shirts, green dresses, green socks, if you can wear it on St. Patty's Day, wear it in green. Here in Chicago, we even dye the river green. And we don't stop with the river. We dye the beer green. Ah. It's interesting to note, though, that originally, the color associated with St. Patrick was actually blue. A sky blue color was chosen for the Order of St. Patrick to differ in tone from the Irish coat of arms, which used a darker blue. Legend has it that St. Patrick taught the Trinity by using a three-leafed clover. Many of our greatest teachers use the simplest lessons to convey important truths of life. The lesson had such an impact the people started to associate St. Patrick with the color green, like the clover. And it certainly helped that with all the rain Ireland receives, it was and is known as the Emerald Isle, because it is so green. But it's not the color of the clover that St. Patrick taught. Faith in God was his teaching. He taught his listeners to trust in the strength of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and that it was as abundantly as available as the clover that grew on the hillside. Patrick knew great pain in his life. He was once a slave brought to Ireland, but God turned his life around, and that is what God will do for us. Turn our life around, send us back to some place to change it for the better. St. Patrick, as a free man, returned to Ireland to convert it to Christianity. There is no doubt that he was successful in his efforts. Four out of five people in Ireland today identify in, as Christian. God does that, converts us. The conversion isn't about always getting our way. The conversion is about trust. Do we feel trust in God growing in our life? If not, seize the opportunity this Lent to turn your life around so that you find yourself growing closer to God. God grows something inside of us. It could be the belief like St. Patrick had that all things are possible, even the conversion of an entire nation. More commonly for us, though, it's little things, like the ability to be patient, like the insight to find the words for forgiveness, or like the awareness to take delight in the children that cross our path. We could say that God is always growing something new in our life. We are forever green even in our ripe old age. So, sports are green today and you're blue on this St. Patrick's Day. Raise a glass of green beer if you choose. 
But remember, this day is about faith in the Lord. Now, let's take 30 seconds to water the seed. What new thing is God starting to grow in your life?